Hey everyone, it's Tracy at Worlds and Swirls Quilting. Today's design of the day you can use as a feather alternative or as a sashing. It's fun. We're going to come around in a curl. We're going to do sort of a big, sort of feathery looking thing over that with a little hook. So up, and then we're going to come in like that, sort of a spike. And we're just going to keep doing it. This particular one doesn't have a spine. You can use a spine if you like. Um, either chalk it out first or stitch it. It's totally up to you. Curl, come out. When I get into here, I just do that little jut in. Make sure you leave enough room for your curl to come out. These ones I'm making really long. You can make them short and fat. Like that. Everybody's is going to look a little different because we've all got our own handwriting, right? Up, back, in. Curl, out, sort of like a feather, and then back in. Now this I can curl around depending on how I angle that curl you can actually direct this into ways. So see, I'm slowly turning. However far you bring that feather thing over, feather shape, shouldn't call it a thing, you can actually direct yourself to curl around, pull it way down there like that. And then this one, if we go a little bit straighter, Hopefully you can see what I'm talking about by the angle on the camera. See how I'm starting to come around? Oh, did you see what I did there? I did that, that spiky thing on the outside. That always happens. Some new design comes out of the old design. I kind of like that, actually. So I'm just very slowly sort of turning it. No sharp turns here. Inside. Pop that out. That one's on the outside. Now, if I'd have only done that once, it would have maybe been construed as a mistake. If that kind of thing happens to me, I prefer it to do it several times. And then you just go, bingo, design element, and carry on and nobody will ever know that you didn't mean to do that. Now, let's just for giggles and get ourselves back so that we can see it. Let's echo around that. Basically, I've almost done like a big U shape, but you could turn this and turn this over and over and over again and do it all the way across a quilt. Have a look. So see how it kind of goes up, all the way up and over. Depending on how you angle those, you can get that to snake like an S curve or, you know, spin it right around and turn it into a wreath if you want even. That would look really good if you did it as a circle. Play with it. Try it. Hope you like it. We'll see you soon.